You guys, guess what? This is a brand new Alliance Paradigm 375 RD. So that's rear dent and it's absolutely gorgeous with five slides and we're gonna give you this exclusive sneak peek right now. This is the brand new Alliance Paradigm 375 RD. We're gonna give you a look. We're at the Florida RV Super Show and it has not opened yet. So there's no power in the coach. When you walk inside, you're greeted by the coffee bar and here's the panel with all your switches. You have plugs right here, USB, A, and C. So one thing you can't really see right now is that uh, Alliance does is there's gonna be accent lighting all along the crown molding up here. There'll also be accent lighting in the back. Backlit there. Yeah, back where the USB A and USB C. But again, we don't have any power, so that is what it is. You have real tile on this. That's real. Very nice. So you have an outlet up here, a pop light there. I love where they hid, they hid their electrical panel. That's really cool. So that's your breakers. Yeah, and it's tile on this. That's real. Very nice. So you have an outlet up here, a pop light there. I love where they hid, they hid their electrical panel. That's really cool. So that's your breakers. Yeah, and it's not an eyesore because it's behind the cabinet. And you got a nice size, what, junk drawer? Coffee junk drawer. drawer. <laughs> that's what we call it, y'all, junk drawer. Hey, that's a great place for a junk drawer. You got a nice size pantry and this one's a little different. You don't just pull, you twist the knob, open it, and it has adjustable shelves. So I know you guys are gonna ask, how big was the pantry? Uh, it's about to my elbow. Well, no, just about to my forearm. I'm gonna call that a solid 14 inches. So that's about 14 inches deep. And like Martha said, it's adjustable shelves. So that's nice. And then you have a huge spot on the bottom for anything that's really tall. Um, Show them this that you were talking about. So it's a little bit different. This isn't your normal doorknob. It's a left, it just flips up. Okay, so it is a normal doorknob. It's just a different setup. I like that. And normally that would be lit, but like Martha said, there's no power. So you have a huge Norco fridge. Look how big it is in there. It's about a residential size, but this is a 12 volt compressor fridge, which is awesome. You have a nice big size freezer with drawers. You have an LG microwave. This is the same microwave we have in our paradigm and we love it. Let's check out the storage. Lots of storage up there. Yes. Insignia four burner stovetop, residential style oven. And it says it's turkey tested, but is it turkey approved? We'll have to ask Matt from Matt's RV review. <laughs> oh, check this out, Chris. So opening the drawer, it has placement for your silverware and then underneath. I actually like that. It's really nice and big and deep in the store. And all the drawers are reinforced, so they'll hold up to 90 pounds. Let's get it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. We're trying to open that up. There we go. Ooh. Ah. ah. <laughs> all right. So coming around to the island. Coming around to the island, you have a single sink. Single basin stainless steel sink. Come on, Martha. Words. I know. I'm trying not to call it a farm style sink. Yeah, because we get an earful out of that. For that. Huge storage down below, and guess what they've added? So they've added the garbage can on the rolly tray. So we did this upgrade on our Paradigm a couple years ago, and now it looks like it's coming as a standard. How many drawers do we have? So it looks like we have three drawers. So this is going to be um, dishwasher prep, so you can take this bottom drawer out if you wanted to add a dishwasher. We have the same in our Paradigm, but we I'm the dishwasher. <laughs> She said that, y'all. No, don't be man shaming me. <laughs> a new little feature that we see here is what? Another little island? We'll call it an island. Island, a bar. What do you guys think it's called? Let's check out. They have storage down below. Let me get in there. Ooh, look at all them shelves. I like that. I do. It's all finished, too. It looks really nice. And then you have three drawers. Those are little shorty drawers, but obviously the island's not too wide, so that makes perfect sense. There's a lot of storage in this kitchen, considering it's on opposing slides, which I do like. One thing I noticed about this, I can't say for 100% sure, but I think this is the first alliance with five slides. Oh. Because it has dual opposing in the kitchen, mm -hmm. so if we swing around this way, you have the dinette. And of course, normal dinette style, you could seat four in there. Um, Atrium windows all the way around. Alliance just does an amazing job on that. Look how big those windows are. You're gonna be able to see everything. And then in between the dinette and the den, you have another big window. This is a huge living space, living room. I, wow. 
So you have plenty of seating over here, and then they put a love seat over there. So a theater seating directly in front of the TV. The back wall, you've got a 65 inch TV with a sound bar. You've got a 50 inch fireplace, and you have some pretty cool storage here. These slide out on the sides. Let me back up so you can see what we got going on here. Vanna, get in there. So on the left side of the entertainment center, you just slide it open. And on the bottom, the same thing. You just slide it open. I really like the sliding doors. So I heard there was a secret storage here. Let's see. Pull this out. Ah. Oh. I heard secrets. Hidden storage. Alliance is good about that. They do a good job of hiding everything. I like the fact that the sound bar is integrated into the wall. That looks really nice. And it's a very on. And of course, same thing. Same thing. Storage on both sides. Did you have an electrical outlet on this one over here? Because uh, on look. this one here, I saw that we have. Yes, you have electrical houseboard. outlet. Okay, Chris, I think they've been watching our videos. Is there a pass-through hole on that side so too? There's a pass-hole through hole on this side. Sorry, I can't speak. I'm so excited. So yes, check it out. There's a pass-through hole. And we did that on our paradigm. Yeah, we actually did do that. And it, the reason for these little holes right here, it's really nice because it allows you to run things directly back behind the TV. So if you put like an Apple TV, then that would be a perfect place to run the wires. And again, atrium windows as you run across. Yeah, so I'm gonna call this a super duper sofa. And guess what? I love this. You sit down, recline. I'm ah, not a, it's I'm not, not electric. It's not electric, but I'm a fan of that. No, I it, appreciate that as well. The other thing I noticed on the slide, if you look with the super sofa, it's flush floor. So the toe kick is at the exact same spot as the sofa. And of course they both recline. I love this couch. <laughs> <laughs> that is an awesome couch. You can have a lot of people here. You can entertain quite a bit. Going from the super sofa back towards the kitchen. All right, let's check out this big, beautiful window. But guess what? Ooh, Ooh. day shades. MCD day shades. So daytime, nighttime. That is a nice, nice feature because ours didn't come with that. But then back when they made ours, that wasn't an option. Ours was pre-built, so that was not an option. But we do love our MCD shades. Yep. Before we walk out of here, I want to make sure I show we have the Coleman mock ACs, which we have in ours. Looks like both of these are direct dumps. So you've got one in the kitchen, one in the living room, and I bet there'll be one in the bedroom. Yep. One thing we didn't talk about, Chris, was, of course, the fireplace, the beautiful fireplace, but this backsplash on the entertainment center. What would you call that? Marble-ish? Marble-ish. Marble-ish look. Marvelicious. It's more, yes. The one thing I want to talk about that could go really easy to get bypassed, if you look at the bottom right there, you see those two black things on the outer edge of the fireplace. Those are your heater ducts. You notice that none of the heater ducts are on the floor. Alliance does a really good job of keeping the heaters off the floor, which is also so that you don't get doggy fur or toys. Or any kind of hair. Oh, your <laughs> hair would never fall anywhere. <laughs> oh, no, it's perfect. <laughs> a must that they definitely added. Max air fan, so it's above your sink and above your stove to vent out all that air. Martha Max has never set off a fire alarm in our trailer. I'm not allowed to cook bacon inside our paradigm again. <laughs> <laughs> Just know that the Max air fan will do a great job of sucking all that out. I do like the 12 volt Edison style bulbs. We almost missed two different outlets. So there's one on this little lone island on the very bottom. Right there, I'm gonna call that the vacuum outlet. <laughs> And then you have another outlet here on the big island. And then do we have any underneath? Let's look underneath the so counters. Have, yeah, on both sides. And then you have small little lights. What about at the uh, coffee bar? Do you have one at the coffee bar? Let's the see. The coffee bar, you have the outlet right here and then the pop light. All right. So they hid a lot of the outlets in the kitchen. I like it. So these are the stairs that we upgraded to on our paradigm, of course, which is nice. What I love about them the little things that matter. Let's see if we can do this here. Let's get us some light. It is metal. So these are actually steel runners with wood on top. They used to be in the past all wood. Yes, they were solid wood. We didn't like it. They changed it out last summer while we're at the rally. The other cool part, you can put your shoes under there. So that's a great place to store your shoes. And don't forget, it says no carpet zone. 
I'm happy. This is a big shower. So I would say it's probably, I don't know, five feet wide. Cause I mean, I can go arm to arm. I can't go fingertip to fingertip. So that would be probably six foot. But height wise, I would say you would be close to seven feet in here. It has a lot of the features that we have in ours, which I really like. It's got the rod that's adjustable. So your shower, you push the button. So if you're Martha sized or you're Chris sized, it's fully adjustable has shells built into it. It has a nice surround that's all one piece, it looks like. It's got the teak seat. You have three glass doors, which we do like. And I actually like the fact that they switched this to black. Ours was a bronze kind of color. I prefer this. Here, before you step out, let's look at the track. The track is neat. It matches the, the rest of it and it, it's all black. And I think it would do a good job of just kind of hiding water spots. Uh, porcelain foot flush toilet. I will say that it has a ton of space in here, so there's no issue from height on the shower, no issues here. It's got a neat little uh, storage cubby here. Come over and look at this, Martha. Down in the corner, they put this hole, but it's got a bungee system so that it holds everything back. You've got a huge cabinet here with at least five shelves, so you're not gonna have any problems with places to put your linen. You have a nice, Aha. Medicine cabinet. There you go. Couple shelves. And oh, again, like same that. thing. They followed along. I mean, straight luxury. They followed along with the crown molding. They have a Max Air fan up top. It says epoxy pour, but I don't call it that. This is a solid surface countertop. They have a GFI outlet. You have your controls for your Max Air fan on the left. And there's two switches, so it's going to have accent lighting. Yep. And then, of course, normal underneath, no shelves or anything. And then. Um, an extra vent cap in case you need it for the heater and two drawers you know i i would say this isn't the biggest sh uh bathroom slash shower i would say r340 is probably bigger than this but i will say this is from an rv perspective this is way bigger than most and it is completely usable and there's nothing size wise that would be an issue so i'm happy with it yeah i would say the linen closet is definitely bigger than what we have but they're both nice in the 340 and this unit. So there's something right here that I think is nice that they didn't put on our 340, which I don't know if you can see it. There's a candy cane hook for the bathroom, which you can actually lock the bathroom from the inside. So if you got littles with you or you got people over and the seats taken, those little things make a difference. Now we did have that when we had our Valor. We used to have a Valor 42V13 and then they had the bungee stall in the garage. So I like that. Let's check out the bedroom. They say this is where the magic happens. <laughs> hey, anywhere, anytime I get sleep, that's magic. It is. So you got dresser with six drawers, and then they made it where a shoe storage down below. Neat little thing they did here is they actually put the light with the dimmer on the wall, or on the side of the dresser, which I like. You have, a, looks like about a 32-inch TV up top. You've so got you a shoe storage underneath, and then you have a little cubby, which Martha used that to put her shoes on, and store stuff and I do her little lady spot <laughs> so that's what I was talking about by the shoe storage it's underneath the dresser let's talk about the closet okay now I'm not sure what this oh, that Coleman is Mock the Air. thermostat for the Coleman Mock Air I wish it turned on it has an LCD screen but again nothing we can do about that no power so you've got a Coleman Mock Air AC this one is ducted just like ours is it's ducted because these two are in the bedroom and then you have two in the bathroom so that the whole trailer is actually set up with air conditioning okay so in the closet it is prepped for a washroom dryer you have two pop lights on the side clothing bar you have shelves in our paradigm we don't use a wash and dryer so you get extra storage on each side of the bed you have a little uh, shelf for cell phones, CPAPs, things of that nature. Your coffee. And then, and then you have a USB-C and a USB-A, and then you also have two household plugs. And it's the same on both sides. This is a RV King, which is just a little narrower than a regular King. The core storage and the extra two chairs for the dinette. And you got, I like that. They've got hinges on both sides, so it assists. You don't have to hold it up. Yeah, and I actually had my hand there holding it up. <laughs> That's because you're used to it with our ginormous mattress. It's a little heavier yes. than the factory ones. But I will say, as far as an RV mattress goes, this is actually really nice. I'm pretty shocked. You've got two pop lights over the top of the bed. You've got a padded, what do we call that? 
Your headboard. There you go, headboard. Yeah. And then lights, or lights, <laughs> you got windows on both sides. Do you have day night shades on both sides? Nope, just night shades. Night shades. That's okay, because honestly, when you're up here, you're not sitting in bed looking at day shades. Uh, this is set up with a BAL exact cable slide, so no longer using the Schwintech. That's probably a uh, big win. So for their 32-inch TV, the plugs were on the ceiling. That's kind of cool. I like that. And they're hidden. They did a really good job. So if you look back there, all the electrical's behind it. But when you look on the outside, it's clean. There's nothing there. There's nothing more that I despise than having electrical wires hanging out everywhere. So the fact that they took the time to innovate and put the wires, put pass-throughs down by the TV and then hide everything behind. What do we got here? So you have a little bungee cord like we have in our paradigm one thing i noticed that they changed is the floor guides for the barn doors before when we got our paradigm they were white you and i we changed ours out to something from amazon and they were black and now they're black yeah and they're no longer the they these are pretty robust so the little things like this make a difference these are metal so that's really nice so for perspective our unit was built may of 21 so this is a 2024 this is a 2024 so a lot of things are innovated and changed and more parts are available i love the material on this yeah. i can't explain what it is but it has a texture to it and it is a very very nice looking you don't have staples all you have is a little bit of seams but they have the tape where the junction points are and as you come across, you've got the Weingard Air 360 Plus. Of course, you got a smoke detector or a bacon detector, as Martha would tell you. <laughs> and I about died. <laughs> but did you die? I did so, not die. What I love is this big, huge window right outside the bathroom. So if you're taking a hot, hot steamy shower, you can run the Max Air Fan, open this up, and if you're cooking bacon, it'll help vent it out. Pro tip. I didn't think she was going there, y'all. I thought she was going to be talking about sitting on a throne, needing some air, looking at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Best views in America. <laughs> I'm going to Key West, and I'm in a pooping style. Woo. So let me talk about the electrical panel, because you kind of glossed over that a little bit. I'm going to show you all, all this hotness here. So these are your Coleman Mach thermostats. These control the front two air conditioners. You have the Max Air fan right here. This is what, uh, that's the bacon detector. And of course, you've got your on off switch for your lights. They're set up on dimmers, which is great. This controls all your slides. So you've got your, you've got your, you've got your five slides, your two awnings. And then, of course, you have lights, DS meaning door side, ODS meaning off door side. And then, of course, have kitchen hall ground effects of the lighting underneath. Accent lighting, which I talked about, is all the stuff that's on the perimeter of the interior of the trailer. You have awning lights, and you got heated, of course, tanks, black, fresh, and gray. So if you're in cold weather, you don't have to worry about that. You got a water pump, electric heater, and a gas heater, so you can run propane or electric to heat your water. And of course, normally you would have LED bulbs here that showed what the tank status are. And then, of course, you can check on everything. I like the fact that it's all on toggle switch. It makes it super easy to use. Um, some people disagree in like other features and other options. For us, I love this because I can always trace a problem. Haven't had any problems. Our electrical wiring has been really, really good. So we're really happy with that. One thing we love about Alliance too, or I should say another, they are green. So what is that QR code above the panel? So that's your owner's manual. So if you want to see your owner's manual, you just skew, uh, scan the QR code. The other thing that you can't see on camera that really sets Alliance apart and why we love being ambassadors for the company is the fact that they go the extra mile to make sure that you have the best experience when you're camping. If anything goes wrong, you can call them. You can get a hold of a human being. You can talk to the vice president of the company. The owners put their number on the internet. It's about the customer service and the experience you get from being an owner. Now this, we wanted to come record it because it's a brand new floor plan. We're super excited about it. So we ran over here with no power, a trailer that's not even level. It's just so we could get it to you guys. Let's go check the outside. All right, let's go look at the numbers on the 375RD. So 2,408 pounds of cargo capacity sitting on 235, 85, 16 tires sitting on dual 7,000 pound axles with the unloaded vehicle weight of 14,322 pounds. 
So this will have 16 inch tires. This right here, we'll start at it, is your Lippert leveling. So it's electronic leveling. I like the fact that it's hidden in there just like ours. One of the things I noticed that I liked that Alliance did is they got rid of uh, the Schwintech slide and they went to these exact slides. So the BAL exact, we actually had these in a different brand in our very first trailer and we found them to be really good and reliable. Uh, I love, love, love the fact that they put these nice slide skis on there. Come around to the front, it has the Kurt Rotoflex, which that's an upgraded pin box compared to something that's like completely rigid. Let me see if we can get underneath here and see what we got. So this has a Renogy Rover. It looks like it's a 40 amp charge controller. You got your battery on off switch here. I love how they've hidden everything in here. So that is all your hydraulics. That is a awesome place to hide that big old spaghetti mess. So this has a very nice cosmetic look to it. And it keeps them safe too. If you add, you know, extra things in the storage bay. On the left side here, this is where your generator would be, but right now it's a big storage area. If it had a battery, that's where it would be. I assume it's gonna have 30 pound propane. Yes, it does. So there's your propane tanks, nothing special there. Love the slam latches. That door is thick and heavy. That's gonna be great insulation. Come look at this monster pass-through and look how clean this is. Wow, that is huge. 100 wide inch one, 101 inch wide body, so it's a big frame just like ours. This is freaking cool. Look at this. You can control your awnings and your slide outs from the pass through. So you can be standing outside looking at that tree and controlling your awning to make sure you don't hit your neighbor or the tree. And of course, up top, it's got the wine guard controller. So this, this is your power for your antenna or your Wi Fi. And then, of course, cable if you want to have that. And it has a house plug. This is not actually hooked up there. That's just a spray port. That's right here. And the other thing is for changing your tire or messing with your levels. My God, let's see if it slams. And underneath the bay, what is that, Chris? So this is a quick connect for your propane tank. If you wanna run something that with propane exterior, it's already plumbed for that, so you don't have to do anything special. You've got Lippard solid step stairs. You've got a Moride safety rail, which we like this. This is the folding rail that we have ours. It's nice, it gets out of the way, it makes it easy for travel day. The slide is a rack and pinion slide. It's a hydraulic style. It's sitting on a Moride Cree 3000 suspension. So it's gonna have the, ha the heavy duty shackle kit. It's gonna have the greasable wet bolts and it's going to have the Cree CRE 3000. So the dampening suspension, one of the most robust factory based running gear in the that we come across. I mean, the only thing better is if you can get some independent suspension, which, wait a minute, that's an option. Hey, if you tell Moride, yeah, you they'll wanna, take your money. <laughs> you tell Moride and you tell Venture some couple sent you, they'll save you some money on some independent suspension. So this one is also a hydraulic slide. It's a rack and pinion slide. So this is going to be where your um, couches. Yeah, this is going to be the love seat side of the couches. So this is your dinette. This is your love seat. Come back here and get mad. Come on. All right, let's get mad. I want this. <laughs> I want this. You want that ladder? I want this ladder. This is the welded aluminum ladder. It is not the lightweight, flimsy thing that a lot of the other trailers come with. The Lions started doing this about a year, maybe two years ago. A little over a year ago. I love it. It's got LED lights. The ladder is rated to 300 pounds. So if you're a little on the fluffier side, you're still good to go up there. I like how clean the back is. They put the Alliance on there without making it too insane. It's pre-wired with a four flat electrical outlet. So basically a trailer plug, nothing special there. You have a tow hitch that is actually put onto the frame with a 300 pound tow weight, excuse me, 300 pound tongue weight and a 3000 pound tow weight. So if you can tow doubles legally, you can put it there. We use it for a bike rack. Okay, now what did we do with this plug on our Paradigm? We actually use that to put in a um, extra set of lights. So basically a strip across the back of our paradigm. And what we do is it is just basically extra brake lights because you have LED lights here, but we put a strip across because we have a window there. So it gives us turn signals, brake lights, and it just uses the trailer plug to do it. Nice little option. Now I noticed the 
brake lights in the back are bigger or they're longer. They are. They look very similar to what a lot of people were putting on their toy haulers because they're a narrow shape. These also have white lights in the middle, so from a backup standpoint, they're going to illuminate. And if you happen to put a backup camera up there in the tree, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> way right. up there where the little black dot is, right, if you, right between the second A and the D. If you put where that little black circle is, so if you put a backup camera on here, that's going to help give you a little extra light. And again, I love the ladder. I can't say that enough. I want that ladder. So I think what Chris is trying to say, it is pre-wired for a backup camera. We have a halo view, we but do. you can use Spirion. There's many brands. So this is another one of the BAL exact slides. This is your other seating. So this is going to be your super duper couch. <laughs> as Martha called it, the super duper sofa, because <laughs> it's the L-shaped one. So that gives you perspective of where we're at. Huge windows. One of the things I want to point out on the windows that we didn't talk about on the inside, Alliance always puts in windows that slide. Now, most people say, well, why, why does that matter? Well, if you have the frameless windows, they pop out at the bottom. So you might get a gap maybe that big across the bottom. But the way the Alliance does it with these windows that slide, you get 50%. So when we go down to Key West, that is a huge benefit. Or we're going to an area where we want a lot of breeze and pass through air. These things let in more air by far than any of the frameless. And what I do like about them is with the day night shades, they still block everything. You still get the cosmetic effect. They're still tinted. So they work really well and they have a practical purpose. It's going to be your kitchen slide. So this is the slide that has the refrigerator in it. This one is also a rack and pinion hydraulic slide. If you want to come in a little bit closer, there's another thing I want to show you down here in the bottom. So these are your leveling gears. So this trailer uses the Lippert level up system. So it's a hydraulic automatic leveling system. The other thing they've done on here, they put a holder for your stinky slinky. I love that. That's from the factory. And then you can see all the way down at the bottom here, they've got a spare tire built in. Speaking of tires, these are the Sterling 16 inch tires. These are what we have on our travels, our, <laughs> on our paradigm, and they have been wonderful. These are JFW wheels. They look really nice. So coming around to the side, you've got your 50 amp outlet. You've got a suburban water heater, and this is going to be your furnace area. And then right here is the outlet for your tanks. And if you look, they've plumbed them together so your tanks are all plumbed to a single outlet and this is really nice your low point drains are fully accessible right here next to your stinky slinky check out this split bay door so it took me a minute to figure it out but i got it so you can lift up here and you have access to your nautilus system and check out all these switches chris so you've got your normal nautilus system which is great we love ours it makes life really really easy this is what really, these are called moto drains. These actually are electric dumps for your tanks. So you can actually dump your tanks without having a cable pull. On top of that, you've got your normal GFCI outlet plug because it's in a water area. It's going to be protected outlet. And this is cool. So these are the other three slides. We talked about on the other side, you have the ability to control the slides from in the bay. Well, you have the ability to control the slides, the rest of them here. Now, Look up here. This is where this comes into play. The practical application of this is you're standing in a tight RV park and you've got this tree here and you don't want to hit it with your slide and make a mess of your trailer. You can control it from the outside. This feature is incredible. I really wish we had this on ours. I might upgrade just for that. Well, and the electric poopy tank dump. But we're going to recommend you always need a spotter. Oh, 100%. Don't do anything without a spotter. So let's open up the other side. Now, I will say Alliance killed it on this. The innovation on this thing is incredible. You've got one side because of the bedroom slide that opens down or across, and then you've got one that opens up. This is really cool. The other thing I like about this, it has dual latches, but here's what I think is the coolest part. So it has the slam latch. So when this is down, this can't open right like the problem with some of the other ones that's like this there's a potential they can open but if you have one coming down and one locked in you're not going to have to worry about that and it makes the most use of this bay just so yeah i i know that firsthand you cannot open the left side without the right side open speaking for a friend <laughs> yeah and then of course the other side is the 30 pound propane tank and there's a little feature in here that i like uh, alliance puts these bypass switches in here so you can put it you can go so it's left 
right, or either. And that way you can run both tanks. So if you happen to run out of propane in one tank, it'll just go ahead and take from the other one. Now, the problem with that is when well, you run out of both tanks, you're screwed. Yes. <laughs> Up there on the top right there is an LED light strip. You've got a fully painted fiberglass cap and you get the Paradigm logo right in the front. Love the look as you're towing. It says Paradigm in the rear view mirror. I love that's, it. That's right. We love it. So give you an overview of the outside. Coming down this side, this is your door side. This would be your camp side. So once you get past that beautiful fiberglass cap, you have two massive awnings. The awning in the front runs all the way from the front cap to over the bedroom door. The second awning runs over the two slide outs to the rear of the trailer. Which is a dinette in the side couch. Look at that, all the way to the end. That thing is massive. Look at that majestic sunset on that trailer. That is beautiful. So we forgot to mention how long this thing is. Do we know? We don't know. Let's go see if there's a sticker on the door. We almost failed you guys. So if you guys ever want to know how big a trailer is and you can't figure it out and you leave your phone in the RV, Martha, you can come over here to this yellow little sticker right here. Now I'm going to try to look at this upside down and backwards and see what it is. So the VIN number's on here, the cargo weight's on here. This trailer is 42 feet, 11 inches. That is going to be your overall length right there, 4211. So if you ever see a yellow sticker, just know that's gonna tell you. Now, the reason that's important, because if you look up here and you think 375, maybe it's 37 feet, right? Yeah. 4211. <laughs> Good to know. Look at me dropping nuggets of wisdom for y'all. <laughs> All right, guys, what do you think of the brand new Alliance Paradigm 375 RD? I think Alliance nailed it. This is a fringin' flingin' mmm awesome. <laughs> We're so excited about this new floor plan. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is. I love the innovation they put into mm -hmm. the upgrades that they've done since the, uh, ours was manufactured. Really impressive. I think I might have to very seriously consider upgrading this year. Well, I mean, we have the truck for it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. So make sure that you go to VentureSomeCouple.com. Why are we sending you there? So, shameless plug, we have a brand new merch. So I'm going to show you my shirt. Ah, enjoy every moment. Yeah, you know that's how we roll. So we have sweatshirts, we have t-shirts, and we have more merch out there now. Most importantly, give us a thumbs up. Yep. Don't forget, like and subscribe, and enjoy every moment.